<laughs> this squirrel is uh, trying to stay on the non-windy side of the tree here. I'm sure he's not too cold though. But it's pretty chilly here in southern Michigan. We've been uh, pretty much below freezing since the 1st of December. And uh, we received our first snow that stuck uh, just a few days ago. We got an inch of snow. And now I hear we have a couple more systems that might be moving in and we might actually get dumped on. Getting dumped on in Michigan, in southern Michigan, is like, uh, you know, getting a foot of snow. It's not like we get six feet. But it's enough to make uh, the road slick and sometimes make traveling through the woods difficult. I figured I'd just show you that real quick. I think that's a... I don't know. I think that's a young cottonwood right there. That's pretty much what this entire woods is. is uh, uh, Black locust, cherry, and cottonwood, and elm. It's a good woods for hunting mushrooms, morel mushrooms. They seem to like that. I didn't mention uh, it's the 8th of December now. And like I was telling you, it's been uh, entirely below freezing since about the 1st of December. We haven't had uh, one minute above freezing. Uh, the temperatures are getting down uh, into the high teens at night now and staying in the 20s in the daytime and we're starting to get some snow uh, small ponds and creeks that are isolated from the wind are starting to skim over with ice so ice fishing is just around the corner as long as we maintain these temperatures which sometimes is hard to do in southern Michigan a lot of times when we first get our ice and it's almost good for fishing, uh, it warms back up and we get rain. And the next thing you know, the ice is no good. But this is pretty typical of where I live. I figured I'd just kind of take a minute to share that with you. I've been busy doing a lot of things lately other than personal stuff and you know work and school type stuff. Uh, I've been busy hunting and uh, gathering and been doing uh, a lot of work with the uh, the deer skin and other parts of the deer trying to utilize those and make things out of them and preserve them. So I figured I'd just take a break and take a quick hike and show you what it's like here in southern Michigan on a typical winter day. I think uh, that system I was telling you about, the first of the two systems is uh, is moving in. snow's coming down quite good and it feels like it's a dry snow these are all white pine these were all planted uh, I talked to some guys and they said that uh, if you live south of I believe it was Flint Michigan every white pine you see is non-native and they're actually considered an invasive species down here white pines only existed up north in Michigan I'm not sure if that's true but I thought it was interesting as white pines are 
kind of a dominant tree around here. Well, not dominant, but they are, there are quite a few white pines and other conifers around where I live. And turns out the majority of them, if not all of them, were planted here by people. There's actually some stories about some of our local state parks and the people that used to be caretakers for the one part planted a large amount of uh, pine trees and it was thought uh, they were uh, they came over from I don't think it was Germany but it was some uh, Axis country back in like around the time of World War II and it was thought that they planted the pine trees to make an arrow formation to point towards Detroit, which was our big manufacturing center, so that when the German or Axis planes came, they could see the trees from the air and know which direction to fly to get to the our industrial center to bomb it. It's kind of interesting. But if you look at the trees they planted from an aerial view, they do point towards Detroit. So it's kind of, uh, there may be some merit there. Kind of interesting. But anyway, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna wrap it up. I just wanted to get out and show you uh, well, what it's like in Southern Michigan on a typical winter day. I think I've said that a hundred times already.